Hey there. I am quite fascinated with how quickly Atheism is Unstoppable's video got pulled. I was fascinated with that. It's making me think more about when your video is processing. Um, it's not just, it's obviously not just uh, converting your video to the formats they want it to be in. Um, it's also looking through every element of the content. So, you know, your words are transcribed and then processed there in something that tries to look for certain kinds of phrases, certain wording. And then, you know, if it has says certain things too many times, then... Uh, then it's flagged automatically and uh, actions from there are taken. The same goes for if you have text on the screen. I was just thinking about how would you... what are different ways you could test what it is that takes the longest to process? Is it words? You know, either on the screen or uh, audio? Is it where they're trying to process uh, is this part of a movie? How long of a clip did you take? Um, you know, is this part of copyrighted material? But if you if you clip it apart enough and turn it into something else, then it's a different piece of work. What is it that takes the longest to process? So I was thinking about all these different ways that I could uh, um, test that. Have uh, uh, Have one video that's... Uh, that just has a bunch of, like, put a screensaver, milk drop, a win amp, and have that going the whole, you know, the whole time. Some neat, neat imagery, and then you just uh, speak a bunch of random sentences. Quickly, though, you, you, you kind of speed it up. So you just say a whole shit ton of random sentences, about a minute long, and see how long that takes to process. And, and you know, you have to do this too when, when you know that it's processing at a relatively consistent rate. So then you do start uh, messing with how long does it take to, to process this? How long does it take to process this? And then I was thinking, well, okay, I'm going to do a test right now. I'm going to say a number of things, but you're not going to be able to hear them unless you somehow listen to this video in mono. When what I mean by mono, it's not just one side. You have to take both sides, the left and the right side, and combine them into one. And that will be the only way that you will be able to hear uh, really what I'm saying here. So, um... The nitty kitty pretty big bird in the sky. The pantaloons are plasticizing and my pilgrims are privileging podiatry pond quest or okay so if you put the video in mono you wouldn't hear these annoying sounds taking over everything else it's just kind of a, a curious thing do they process audio and when I say process, I mean do dictation, do a transcribing of what you're saying so it's searchable via text and they process the language that way. That is uh, stuffed between uh, a stereo channel that one of the, uh, well, a mono sound that, this, that one of the... Uh, uh, sides has been inverted. You know, do they listen to that? Do they check for that? And if not, could you use that as some sort of way of getting past their systems? Of course, it would be until uh, they get clued into that, and then they'd, they'd process the sound a little differently. Um, another thing could be, Okay, when you, when you look at the way that Google will transcribe what you're saying, there are some uh, dialects, there are some accents that make uh, any sort of transcribing, any sort of dictation very 
very difficult. I mean, it, the word's almost always wrong, like a Scottish accent. It just doesn't know that very well. But it still gets some things. So I'm like, okay, well, what if you created an accent? You, you made an accent with the sole purpose of being something that Google would not be able to translate in, in, and uh, uh, use their algorithms to and their the way they process everything that you have said. Yeah, how can how can you can you come up with some sort of accent that that bypasses all of that? And I just think that's kind of an interesting thought. Um, so. Uh, bananas and chewing gum.